Hello everyone, welcome back to another TechWizKid tutorial. Today is going to be a very specific tutorial, but hopefully it finds the right people here. So I'm going to show you uh, how to automatically import uh, your finance logs and your flight logs into Google Sheets from FS Economy. You can use this and it's all automatic so you don't have to copy paste CSV files any longer. You don't have to download it and then import it yourself manually. This can be set to do any kind of refresh rate you want. Generally, I wouldn't recommend over once per hour, depending on how many tabs and stuff that you have. But there's a custom script that we're going to put into Google Sheets, and I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to set it up. So to uh, get started here, for one, you are going to need a Google Sheets account. So if you don't have a Gmail, make a Gmail. It's totally free to make. And you're going to want to start with a new spreadsheet. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do that here. Uh, we're just going to do new spreadsheet. So we can just start blank. I'm going to name this uh, FS Economy, Economy, uh, any air test. Uh, obviously, you'll name it whatever your group name is. And then to start, I'm going to name this first tab uh, Finance, Finance Logs. And then I'm going to make a separate one uh, for Flight Logs. I'm going to import them into two different sheets, Flight Logs. So we're going to start with the Finance Logs because a lot of times those are the most important and those are the most tricky to do. Um, because there's a, a few things that you have to look out for. Uh, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need uh, your access keys for your pilot, uh, for you as a pilot, and also for the group that you're looking to pull this information for. Uh, if you're just looking to pull it for yourself, uh, you would use just your access key on both. If you do not have an access key, I believe over here says like, um, you know, get access key, something like that. You do not need the service provider key. You only need the basic key, the basic access key that is free to generate, doesn't require any sort of approval from FS Economy or anything like that. So number one, like I said, we're going to get the uh, payment log information. So make sure that you have your group or your pilot selected, depending on what you're trying to pull the information for. I want to pull the information for New England airline charters. I'm going to make sure the format is in CSV. All this other stuff doesn't matter. You can just leave it as default and click update selections. What that's going to do is update these links down here with the proper information that you need um, to import this information into Google Sheets. So to get started after, after you've made that selection, come down for payments from ID, go ahead and click that and it should download a CSV file for you. And what we're going to be doing is essentially making sure that we grab all of the existing information first. So depending on how old your FS economy account is, this could be, you may have to do this five times, you may have to do this 10 times, you may have to do it only once. Uh, when I first started the sheet, I only had to do it once. So essentially, this is our CSV file, I row 501. And you notice that this goes up to 39, which is two days prior to uh, current time. And that's because it only lets you 500 logs at a time. So simply copy this, we're going to minimize this, go into our newly created finance logs, and paste it into A1. Oh, sorry. You're going to want to do uh, paste values only, just in case there's any formulas or something in there. So this column on the left is the most important. This is a identifier for the specific log in the FS Economy database. So we're going to want to know what this last one is. So our last one is 1504252. 997. Perfect. That was the last one that we pulled from here. This was a couple days ago. I'm going to take this number. I'm going to copy it. Or actually, I'll just keep that where it is now. I'm going to take this payments from ID again. And instead of just clicking it, I'm going to paste this into a new browser window. And you see at the end here where it says and from ID, you're going to want to change that ID to the last column that you have here, or the last number that you see here. So now this will only take records from this um, log all the way down. So I'm going to take that, go into my newly created tab, highlight the existing number here, paste our new one, make sure there's no spaces or anything because this is a URL, and then just click enter. It should automatically pull a new CSV file. Same steps, take this new CSV file. Here we go, that's the next record. This time I'm not going to take the column because we already have it in there. I'm just going to take all these records here. And you'll know you're done um, or you've caught up when you have less than 500 rows here that you're working with in Excel. This is kind of being a pain right now. But you see I'm on cell 368. That means there's no more logs past this because I would have got a maximum of 500. So keep repeating those same steps until you get to the 500th ID. 
minimize that, take that, paste it now into the next available column, paste special, paste values only. Perfect. Now, this is, for all intents and purposes, a complete payment log history or a finance log history for your entire time on FS Economy. Again, depending on how long you've been playing and what you've been doing, this, this may take nine or 10 or whatever. It depends on how many rows and stuff that you're gonna have. But now you have all your history. So now that you have that, again, we're gonna wanna know this number. So that one's there, perfect. We're just gonna copy that just to have it actually, it's already there, so we won't actually need to copy that. Your next step is going to be creating a script that will do that step for you automatically going forward. And what the script is gonna do is it's gonna look at the last number here, whatever it sees, it's gonna put that into the URL for you automatically, download it and import it into this sheet. I don't know who originally wrote it. Uh, Jimmy on the Discord server kind of pointed me to this script. I didn't really modify it much. I just kind of put it in an easy place on Pastebin instead of trying to search it on the forums. So I'm gonna to go to the payment logs, Google Sheets import script. So we're gonna go ahead and take this. We're gonna make sure we copy this whole thing right here. And then on this sheet, just keep in mind this is named finance logs, go into tools and script editor. It's probably gonna be blank for you, this is fine. I like to just make a new one. There's a default one here. Just click the plus button here and do script. And I like to say uh, finance logs, finance, by, how can I spell, <laughs> logs underscore puller doesn't matter what the name is this is strictly just so you know what it is and then you'll notice here this said function my function payment log I have all the stuff in the paste bin so just highlight everything that's already there and paste here so now we have function get payment log you'll notice here there is a thing here that says var URL start and you'll notice that this is the same ID that we used earlier just with your user key information removed because the script obviously doesn't know what your user key information is. So in these spots where these X's are, this first one is your user key, which you pull from here. So that's my user access key. I don't really know if I have to blink it out. I probably will for the sake of the video because I don't know if it's bad that people see it. Make sure there's no spaces or anything. And again, the second key here, the second X is going to be for the, the group that you want to pull the information on. If this is for, your pilot, not a group, just put your key in there twice. There we go. Keep everything else default there. And I even have a little note here, replace the user key with your user key and the read access key with your group that you'd like to track. Next line, var doc spreadsheet app, boom, get sheet by name. There's other X's here. Replace the X's above with the tab slash sheet name of the tab that you're looking to import into. So we're gonna go back to our thing here. Our sheet is called finance logs because it's going to pull it into the sheet because you may have multiple of them or you will have multiple of them. So keep the single quotes there. <clears throat> finance logs. Just like that. And again, we have uh, information there, basic comment on how to do it. You shouldn't have to change anything else for this to work. And then how we're going to test this is I'm going to go ahead and delete the last five rows. So just keep this in mind. We ended at 150 blah 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 blah. I'm gonna stick that actually just in case the screws with the formula or something. I'm gonna stick that in the uh, the search bar there. And that is what the last one 472. Yep. And to test it, I'm gonna delete these last few of them because now I'm gonna use that to test is the script actually working? Because what the script should do is say, hey, we're gonna start at 737. Let me pull in the rest of the information after 737, and we should actually end up back with this one as the last one. So before I save it or before I start um, setting up the um, timer to trigger and everything, what I like to do is just click run. Hey guys, editing tech whiz kid here. Instead of clicking directly on run, save the new script first, then click on debug, wait a few seconds, then click on stop. It should then ask for permissions to your account. Allow this as I'm just about to show now. Thanks. We're gonna review permissions, tech whiz kid, advanced, this is fine. We're gonna allow it. Execution started, execution completed. And there's a thing there. Now this ran, we're gonna go back 
to our section here and you can see what it end with 1505607421505660742 1505560742. so that automatically imported my information now as it stands right now this isn't set up as a event that's going to get triggered at any given point in time so it, this is just going to run if i go in here and click run which is useless for me so over on the left hand side you're going to go to triggers and you're going to do create a new trigger you're going to choose which function to run you're going to do get payment log perfect and we're going to say select event source going to do time driven and this is up to you you can kind of decide on how often you want to do it there are limitations on the data feeds on how often you can pull information so i'd be careful with this i wouldn't recommend pulling any faster than once per hour um, otherwise um, you know you run into the chance that uh, your account's going to get banned or at least um, not allowed to pull information for a certain time period so um, a lot of people do this every night i like to do this every couple hours just to kind of keep my dashboards up to date so i'm going to go ahead and click on save now with that done, the cool part is, is now it's done. You know, when you go into here uh, in the finance logs, every two hours, that script is gonna run. It's gonna look at the last column here or the last row here, pull in all the new information that was missing. And then it's just gonna update this spreadsheet for you automatically. Now, to do the flight logs, it's the same exact procedure that we just followed. The only difference is that the flight logs URL is a little bit different. So I'm going to go to the uh, flight logs one that I have pasted here, but the, everything else is exactly the same. Your user key, the URL here is different, but replace it with your um, access key and the group access key. And then make sure instead of finance logs in the get sheet name, you go with the flight logs. But Everything else is identical. So you're gonna download your old history, paste it in here, keep doing that. I would delete a couple ones just to make sure that you have everything that you need because I believe just like the payments from ID, flight logs from ID are limited to 500 as well. The flight logs don't generate as much as the payment logs do because one flight in a payment log will generate you know eight to 10 transactions well a flight log is only going to generate one um, so you're more likely to have less than 500 or only have to do this a couple times for the payment logs okay so now i uh, imported our flight logs so i have a flight logs tab and a finance logs tab one thing to note though, the script does not work if you don't have any information in here. So you will need to import some of the stuff first. I usually generate the first couple rows, then I run the script. But you can see here now, if I go back to our app script section, I have a finance logs puller and a flight logs puller. Uh, both of these are set up with triggers that run every two hours I put. And if you'd like, you can also say notify me daily, notify me hourly if these scripts fail to run. So that way you'll know if it stopped importing for whatever reason or it's not working. So now that you have those importing, you can create tables, graphs, and other useful information using that data, and it will automatically be updated without a manual import process. If there's enough interest, I'll do a separate tutorial on some basic tables, graphs, and dashboards that I use myself. Thanks so much for watching.